What's up guys, it's your boy Damon and welcome back to another New World video. Today we are talking about the patch notes and the update that's happening tomorrow at 5 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Apologies for being a little late. I uh, just got back from the gym, got the notification at the gym. I was like, shit, I need to hurry up and uh, finish the workout so we can come home and talk about these patch notes. But, as you guys saw in the, in the thumbnail, there were some big goddamn changes. And we're not going to talk about all of these because that's a lot of freaking changes. Um, I will post the link in the description to this entire list if you guys want to go through this. What we do want to talk about is some big things that they have changed, starting with this one. So, for Tier 5 items, named items... Um, that used to drop between 500 and 600 gear scores. So, you know, back in the day, used to, let's say you get the the chocolate cookie, right? But it'd be like a 515 because your expertise was low. Um, and then you'd have to, like, use your umbral shards and crap to level it up. That's gone, okay? Uh, so how they've done it is they set these named items to always drop at 590 regardless. So that way... Since you're going to be leveling up your expertise anyway, if you want to use these named items, you can just use them right away and stick with them until you get to 600, 625, so on and so forth. Um, I think this is a huge, huge change um, that is going to make things very, very, very convenient for all of you guys moving forward. Next up, we're going to touch on the gathering, which is also a very, very big deal. So, they, so they've added the young cacti, mature cacti, and, uh, you know, all that other stuff from Brimstone Sands. A big change, though, guys, is Ironwood is now 150 instead of 175, okay? Or Calcum is also now 150 instead of 175. And Lodestone is now 75 instead of, one, instead of 105. Now, if you guys haven't seen my video that I made, like, two weeks ago where I was talking about these are some things you wanted to do... Uh, lodestone you wanted to make as much money as possible hopefully you guys did especially with the change to the economy that's getting ready to happen with brimstone sands dropping hopefully you guys also made as much money as you can on the moats as well uh because you guys will soon find out what legendary tools and moats are going to be freaking everywhere okay now aside from that though these changes are huge especially with the revamped progression system that you guys will be experiencing tomorrow morning the reason why uh, again, this is so huge is because it was already insane how much faster leveling your professions are. So now, since they've reduced this value and it's easier to actually start getting to the highest tier material, it means that it's also easier now for you to start crafting the best stuff in the game. Now, as you get into this, there's some other stuff that they've added in the game, like um, shouts out to this guy on Instagram. He sent me a message talking about how you could basically get like almost entire full, full gear sets from you know farming the new dungeon if you guys need to catch up um but there's a lot of stuff that is uh going to come into play for you guys also i wanted to mention here that aloe gel is the thing that you guys can get from aloes uh, aloe gel can be used in place of high sop okay um and you when you gather the cacti in or or the aloe in brimstone sands it gives you the gel and water at the same time so it saves you a trip now they've added some other miscellaneous things like showing more debuffs on an enemy so now you it's easier to see uh what debuffs are present because you know before it only showed like three now it's up to five uh because i hate it like as a tank before in dungeons where i couldn't tell if the enemy had attack break or like rend on them or or any of that but now since they've increased the amount of debuffs as you can see in a pve standpoint it's going to make it easier to traverse through dirt, uh certain things so on top of that, though, the major features, obviously, we've got the Brimstone Sands, Indian Expedition, revamp starting experience, which, I mean, I don't know. I know a lot of people are waiting till November 2nd to experience this. But for those of you guys who are thinking about starting brand new on a new server or uh, if you guys just want to start new now, uh, you guys are in for a treat. Now, Night Vale Hollow is going to be available as well. So if you guys are going to be doing the Halloween event or for my old heads, my veterans that are coming into the game and you guys want to just get the skins, and then just be done with New World until November 2nd for the fresh start. Um, that's definitely a good idea. They're also adding the Great Sword, Heart Gem Abilities, which are basically like the new ultimates. You guys will be able to access that via story quest in Brimstone Sands. So make sure you guys knock those out. Um, I don't, in the PTR, there wasn't necessarily a prompt, like a pop-up or anything like that that told me. Uh, but as you get, a, I would say about a quarter of the way through the main story quest in Brimstone Sands, make sure you keep an eye on your map. Uh, because it will be uh, closer to the northeast side of Brimstone that the quest will appear, and then you guys will be able to knock that out. It's a pretty fun quest, too. So as you go through this, guys, there's some other general changes. 
like some world experience, notable fixes. They fixed a ton of bugs, made a ton of adjustments, adjustments to titles. The crazy thing, I thought that they would, uh, they would uh, actually um, nerf the great sword, but they didn't. But they've done a variety of things like removing grit. Uh, from a bunch of attacks from a bunch of different enemies, uh, like wolves and freaking sailors and stuff like that. Uh, just a bunch of big changes. Uh, one of the biggest mechanics that you guys will see is for the equipment loads, guys. So for the light equipment load, it's a 1.5 second delay, meaning like if you get hit wearing light, you're slow for a minute. It feels like a long ass time too, and you guys will feel it. Medium equip load, you'll have a one second delay, uh, delay excuse me. Heavy equip load, you'll have a 0.5 second delay and light and medium dodge translation reduced by 20% while the delay is active. So this is something you guys are going to have to take into effect. If you guys didn't play in the PTR, um, yeah, th things are a little different, okay? So they reduced the recovery of block break reaction from 50 frames to 30 frames to make block breaks, block breaks, block breaks less penalizing um you guys will feel that it's it's a lot different okay uh so but for those of you guys who are using sword and board you'll be able to react react a lot quicker uh trust me uh we did a lot of arena uh, combat feels quite a bit different than main uh, and you guys will all be able to experience that uh, again they had a ton of fixes uh, a bunch of fixes on the weapons uh, they fixed a bunch of bugs uh, there was some stuff with like the fire staff that like kept on stacking the damage procs on a flamethrower uh, but there was quite a few adjustments in the weapons that you guys uh, will probably want to see uh, like for the musket they added a cancel window for stopping power to trigger uh, after the effects uh, after the shots reload begins this should be more in line with the other weapons ability cancel windows and uh, they, uh, they also touched on the rapier. They said that, that we found that the rapier is primarily used as a pocket escape weapon, which it always has been, uh, which was never its intended purpose. They said they want players to use this mobility to gain tactical positioning in combat, not to run away. We also felt that repulse was frustrating to fight against because it couldn't be punished if the user made a mistake. Adding some risk to the ability, particularly when fighting multiple enemies, should help alleviate that. They said they'll continue to look at the rapier and make changes as necessary. So check this out. Allegro and Breathe uh, in will no longer trigger immediately upon activating the ability. They will now only trigger when successfully evading an attack. Now, jeez. So Repulse, they added additional recovery to the counterattack and cancel animations. They reduce invulnerability window slightly at the end of the counterattack, and they reduce the counterattack hitbox size to make it less likely to hit multiple targets. They also increase counterattack homing to make it more likely to only hit a single target. Now, they updated the distance of weapon sound for rapier flesh based on player feedback. An insult to injury on successful repose, you will gain in power, increasing damage for 10 seconds. For 3 seconds, you will no longer be uninterruptible. Tondo and Flores will now use slash damage instead of thrust damage. You know, it's kind of crazy because I actually just... Uh, shout out to the chat in the stream. Uh, they had told me to use a different ability than repose, and it actually, you know, worked out in my favor now. <laughs> So, other than that, guys, uh, there, there was a bunch of other fixes for some other miscellaneous, miscellaneous changes. And like I said, I will post the entire, like, patch note uh, thing if you guys are interested in reading all of it. Uh, what I'm waiting for is the next round of the PTR as we get into this. Honestly, guys, Brimstone Sense update is freaking amazing. Um, I just hate that they released it before the fresh starts because now it's just kind of puts New World in kind of a weird spot. Um, if you guys are coming back for the update tomorrow, like I said, it drops at 5 a.m. So you guys will have a ton of stuff to do. Um, it's it's honestly a great time. New World is definitely moving in the right direction. Um, I think they just need to work on the execution process a little bit. Um, and, you know, but again, if you guys want to experience this before Fresh Start servers, please, by all means, you guys, I think you guys will be amazed with all the new additions to the game. So with that being said, guys, that's all I wanted to cover today. Uh, if you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comment box below and I'd be happy to assist and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.